here we have the 2012 Camaro ZL1. This is the system I built for it. Give you a breakdown. We have the 6 to 8 Pasconi DSP in the center there behind matching mesh grille that you see on the steering wheel. We have 20 ounce carbon fiber here. We have Chevy emblem carbon with the grain going in the opposite direction so it more or less stands out becomes more or less a centerpiece have the two Focal 21 WX subs on each side there got the number six Focal Utopia crossover tucked there in the corner got my stack fab panels here I really wanted to make something that resembled like a heat sink that was kind of my idea as I was building it have the floor there removable batteries underneath have a red stitch line that goes all the way across matches the interior stitch line Camaro embossed in the floor that's our pull tab there pull it up reveal the battery next to the battery is a stinger battery charger where it has an outlet to plug in 120 underneath the car all the system fuses right there everything completely wire loom tested tape batteries completely removable from this state and the floor take out the floor if you want back of the floor suede stinger battery there put this back in even the details on the floor it's kind of hard to see but there's so many different layers to the floor that goes up from the top all the way down we got the plexi right behind the chevy camaro emblem all of these panels completely snap off so i can service anything i can pull off each carbon panel very quickly to get to each subwoofer if i wanted to pull a sub out I can pull off the this piece here. I can pull off this piece here with the panel popper. There's just male female connectors. For instance, you just kind of pull the top. And that's the back of my panel there. So now at this point I could then pull off this trim ring here take out the screws holding in my subwoofer so I can pull the subwoofer out. All the panels snap on like you see there, male and female connectors. I did a lot of them, so they're gonna be sturdy, they're not gonna fall off. Put back on there. Here it snap on. I have a light back here. The purpose of that is to illuminate the floor, to illuminate the front of the carbon so you can actually see it at night. Because if that light wasn't there, you wouldn't see the carbon at all. It would just look black. So the whole trunk is completely finished off. I have a piece up here that I used that mobile solutions template right up there to the top left. Use that on the top here to create this shape and this shape here. I use eight pound foam to contour up to my two templates. That way I didn't add any weight, any more weight than I had to in the trunk. That is a Z01 emblem purchased from Chevy. It's about three eighths of an inch thick. So on my piece here, I ran epoxy in there and got it up to about a half inch that way. The ZL1 was completely flushed in with the piece. Did a chamfer on the edge of this piece here to give it more of a less of production make, clear coated everything. Wet sand and buffed it to a nice finish. 20 ounce on all these different carbon fiber pieces. Painted these matte black 
we're soon going to do this piece here in carbon fiber, the rear splitter in carbon fiber. So I have my interior here. I built these carbon fiber pieces here. This was originally made from fiberglass and laid with 20 ounce carbon fiber. Alcantara suede down here. In this car, I really hate how they do the OEM side panels there. It's just such a huge piece. There's no contrast, there's no depth to it. So with me making this line here, it extends into this line here, which then goes into that line there, all the way across the dash that you can see there like that. So it goes all the way across into the bottom there. It just looks a thousand times better. You can see it in your peripheral vision. Here. So I got my steering wheel here. I built the boomerangs here. These were just painted silver before. Now we have carbon in the steering wheel. And if you notice, the steering wheel is the same exact design as the enclosure in the trunk. I just scaled it differently to fit. So in the back, my Moscone is right here. The subwoofers here and here. The boomerangs are scaled a little bit differently to fit. Um, the height of the trunk and then of course my Chevy emblem here is just dropped down here red stitching like you see here and in the boot and in this piece here you can see in the trunk in my floor panel so as far as the radio goes I have the ZL1 emblem in carbon fiber this is a skosh kit that I modified a Soundman slider iPad mini kit into. What I did here is, again, skosh kit. I ended up adding, you know, two or three inches onto the bottom just to not make it look so cluttered in here. You have the kit, the iPad slides out there like that, and then exposes the HVAC control. So anything that I need to do with air or anything is right here. You know, I can hit the flashers there, control lock, unlock defrost everything right there this is finished off in suede flock that's the only way that I can attach to the paint dip down in there um, so again if you've never suede flock before don't know what suede flock is picture inside of your glove box inside of your center console a lot of the times the OEM finishes it off in suede flock it's a adhesive that I generally paint on and then it's uh, like suede flock fibers that you just kind of pump onto the adhesive, you let it dry overnight, and then blow off all the remainder. And from there you get what looks to be a suede finish. Good for any kind of contours that you really can't do in suede or gener generating a clean line like you see here. So we put the iPad back in, again slider kit, push down. Have it come over. Now it's charging. Down here, I have my Moscone 68 controller. So that piece there is going to be responsible for my main audio. If I want to control the master volume, that's where it's controlled from. If I want to use easy controls, I can hit volume up and down from here and that will connect directly to my source volume, which is my iPad, if you want to do it quickly and easily on the steering wheel control. Still track forward, track back. You have mute. Everything for the iPad runs through this Nav TV steer blue piece. That is what's going to communicate my steering wheel controls to my iPad. From here, you know, music will just play all the way through. Now this piece here and this piece here from the factory, from the factory was just, um, it was a matte silver finish. I didn't like it. I wanted to get rid of the matte silver. So I ended up going with a shiny, shiny silver to match what's up here on the vents and on the gauge cluster.
And so that's why I painted that um, gloss silver, gloss silver to match. And then behind me, it's kind of tough to see without some light, but we have behind the back seats, which is the back of my enclosure. You can see the back of the magnet of the 21WX 8 inch Utopia subwoofer on each side. Uh, you see, I think that's three quarter plexi on both of those windows there. Full main panel in front. I have three Focal symmetric amplifiers, a four channel, a two channel, and a mono, respectively. I have all my high caps here. These are capacitors built to work in conjunction with the Focal symmetric amps. I have a wire cover that I built just so you don't see all the all the wiring underneath. That's a panel that conjoins my two suede pieces together using the Allen screws that come with the Focal Utopia subwoofers. As you see there, that's magnet. That's the magnet of the other side. I have plexi bracing in there, as you can see, all lit up. So yeah, that's a majority of the system. I have the Utopia tweeters up here, chamfered flush mount finish. I love finishing these off that way. They look really good. It's such a good tweeter to give that design to. I love the elliptical type of design that you see the tweeter there. It's such a beautiful tweet. So when this is shut here, you go back inside, and then it looks like that. All the lights turn off, all the trunk lights are triggered through the trunk latch trigger. So everything turns dark, you just see the amps lit up. So that gives you a look of what it is looks like with some light at night. And then just put the seats back up if you don't feel like seeing any of that. So that's the majority of the system in a nutshell. Last thing you have underneath the hood, I mean, this thing's show and go. It's 962 dynode wheel horsepower. Got a Magnuson supercharger. It's starting to get dark, so you can't really see much, but complete beast. K40 laser diffusers. I cut out the Chevy emblem here made it flush that way he can get more airflow into the radiator. Installed the Oracle side marker lights here, LED look much better, paint matched. But yeah guys, that's it, that's it in a nutshell. Huge job, finally done. And definitely a pretty freaking cool design. But I will say, I'm definitely gonna take a break on carbon fiber, because it is not fun to do, it absolutely blows. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the vid.